Hmm. So uh, another bit is that <laughs> as ion processes contacts out, uh, as it processes through the contacts, it removes the ones that have completed. So now I'm down to uh, just these two contacts, or, or really one contact, one bidirectional contact left uh, from node two to node three. I'm gonna cheat here. I'm gonna go ahead and add a contact in there uh, uh, so that we can uh, sort of have more connectivity between nodes two and node three. I'll take out that scheduled connectivity uh, and, and replace it. Um, uh, so, let me see here. So what do, how do I want to do that? Um, hey, stop. Uh, so I'm going to add a contact. Uh, add contact from to source destination and rate add contact uh, wait no it's from and to oh from from time from node to node oh sorry from from until from to okay add contact plus zero plus thousand from what am I? I'm node three, so let's say two can talk to me at add contact plus zero plus from three to two. All right, so now I've asserted at node three that nodes two and three can talk. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Um, add contact plus zero plus. Uh, two to three, add contact, oops, three to two, uh, and now if I look, uh, there's still this sort of vestigial two to three contact in here uh, that's supposed to run from time to time. Uh, but, oh no, that's actually, that's actually it. So here's the new one that we added, two to three and three to two at, at these rates. So we should be able to, so now at least we should be able to talk uh, if I can figure out what else is wrong. Um, let's see, I'm running BP Echo, B ping IPN 2.3, IPN 2.1, that should work. And it does. Uh, so now let's go over here, B ping IPN. 3.3 IPN 2.1. And that's not happening. Let's try something else. Uh, let's run BP echo IPN colon 3.1 here. Put that in the background. BP IPN 3.3 IPN 3.1. We have things running at all. Yes. Okay, good. I'm going to try pinging the other direction. I'm going to go from 2 to 3 and see what happens. BPing IPN 2.3, IPN 3.1. And then I'm going to look on Node 3's interface. So what I expect to see are bundles coming in and nothing getting routed back out. That's what we have. Uh, okay, so the problem is not that, that 2 can't get to 3, but 3 just is not willing to talk back to 2 at all. Uh, XYZ dot. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to whip back over to my diagnostics uh, set of slides and I'll pull that one over here. So we talked about diagnostics, we talked about watch character decoding, and I don't have, I don't have dot in here. So dot must mean something, but I don't know what it is. Uh, unfortunate. So 
So we've got a contact, but we're not able to get out. Well, actually, maybe I should do this. BP admin L out duct. Let's make sure that I have the out ducts that I think I have. Uh, 10011, again, 10011. That seems right. Uh, Get a protocol? No. Uh, and ah, yeah, I forgot the scheme. I'll bet that I didn't add the scheme uh, into uh, uh, into his uh, BPRC file, and if I dropped that, then it doesn't know how to forward things that are named with the IPN naming scheme. And that's all that we're using, so we're out of luck. Add scheme IPN, IPN forwarder, IPN admin and point. Epig IPN three dot. Actually, although it, I would have expected that to not. Uh, if that were the case, I would have expected it not to be able to ping itself, and we could ping ourselves. So that may not be it. Okay, so what do we got? Oh, and in fact, I could have looked here and said, aha, yes, I do have a scheme. Uh, and in fact, I think I spelled everything right. Uh, so initialization, we've got some endpoints. We've got a protocol, an induct, two outducts pointed in the right directions. Our plan looks right. 10.011, yes. Hmm. We're not using the LTP. What could this be? So we've got some bundles queued up. Uh, here's a bundle from 3.3 three to 1.1. One, one. Uh, what do I know? I'm node 3. Yeah, these are exclamation points or bundles timing out. So I believe that. Uh, from node 3 to node 2. From node 2 to node 1. So uh, we believe, I think that I, I should think that I have a path all the way through. Let me do this. I'm going to do uh, diff n3.bprc with dot dot slash n2.conf n2.bprc. What am I missing is what I'm looking for here, right? So fine, the endpoints are different, uh, outducts are slightly different. And we're running those. So I wouldn't say that BPRC is the problem. 
and three Zion config. The Ion configs are the same. And three is Ion RC and two dot com. Mm, yep, that makes sense. Well, you'd think that would be right, wouldn't you? 10.0.0.10.0.1.1. Whoops. Nope. This is not correct. Oh, no, that's, that's right. And this is right. I get from 3 gets to 2 by going to 10.0.1.1. I'll just make sure that I still have contacts, and I do. Can I IP ping it? Yes. So I have IP connectivity. All right, I'm going to walk through all these one more time, and if that doesn't work, I'm going to give up and go find a working config and fig try to see if I can figure out what's, what's up. So the contacts aren't going to help because I've fixed those by hand. Uh, M3's BPRC. Let's just go through this. I've got a scheme. IPN FW, IPN admin endpoint. I've got some... Uh, Some endpoints. The UDP was a protocol. I have an induct. I have an outduct. UDP 10.0.1.1.4556 UDP CLO 2. That looks like it's well formed. Uh, and then let's look at N3's IPNRC. I have a plan to get to node 2 through 10.0.1.1. Well, that seems like it ought to be right. Well, something is, let's see, PSA, yeah. UDP CLO to 10.0.1.1. That works. And that is unwilling to emit bundles. Hmm. I'm going to go back up here under the host. Uh, diff n2 bprc with working n2 bprc. Diff n2's bprc with working config n2.bprc. Oh, right. The UDP CLO stuff is slightly different because we have UDP CLO2 versus just UDP CLO. And here I must have configured it for an LTP CLO.
I'm going to kill this guy off and restart him. And when I restart him, though, uh, I'm going to go in here and modify these contacts and just say that these are good forever. Okay, so I'm going to run kill M on node 3 and shut him all the way down. And then we'll start it again. PSA equals to BW. Fine. Uh, ion admin in 3. Dot INRC. Well, actually, let's see. RM, I'm going to remove the ion.log file. Ion admin n 3ion rc uh, Ion admin contacts.inrc. Ion sec admin n 3ion sec rc. BP admin n 3bprc And I think that ought to do it. Pping IPN 3.3, IPN 2.1. And there it works. Not sure. Uh, uh, let's see if we can get all the way through, though. IPN 1.1. Sending. Uh, let's look on his F1 interface. So I have bundles coming in that interface. Oh, and I know why I know why that is. That I believe. Th these bundles are in fact getting all the way to node one, uh, but they're not coming back. Because remember, we, we never changed node one's contact file. So the bundles are getting in, but node one, uh, his contact plan, he doesn't have a way of getting back out. Uh, so, so that I believe, and that makes sense. Uh, but the why I can now ping uh, node 2 and where I couldn't before, I'm less clear on. Uh, okay, well, uh, and but I don't think I can go back and cause the problem to happen again either. So, uh, maybe more instructive than you might have wanted, but that sort of is how, uh, that's why I don't build them from scratch, don't build... Uh, ion configs from scratch. Uh, and there are a lot of tools uh, out there that will help you uh, to build consistent sets of configuration files. Uh, there's one from uh, from JPL. I think there's another one that Goddard is about to put out uh, that will build you uh, sort of, you know, directory st structures or sets of configuration files uh, for a bunch of ion nodes. Uh, and it's, it's much better to go through, well, it can be better to go through those because, well, they'll keep you from making whatever mistake I made before, uh, which was causing things to not work, and uh, uh, and get you to a much much more quickly to a working set of configs. the the other The other thing that I do is I simply start with a config that I know works, uh, and then move out from there. Uh, next, I'm going to do a an, I'm going to do another little bit. I'm going to walk through a couple of the other scenarios that are in the uh, uh, in either the dev kit or the uh, or the uh, course scenarios, uh, and I'm going to put up a slide uh, first that's got sort of the mapping between various ion capabilities and what uh, what are in some of the scenarios. So I, essentially, what I did is went through and built a bunch of scenarios that uh, that exercise the various capabilities of ion. Uh, then I'm going to try to remember to talk about uh, another one that I'm going to build to the, the, the next release of the dev kit, which is using uh, uh, a special capability of core to actually do system in the loop.